G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a question for statistics for high schoolers. It goes as follows. The mean, median, and unique mode of a range of a collection of eight integers are all equal to eight. What is the largest integer that can be an element of this collection? All right, all right, I know I read it, but I'm gonna to, to take this slowly. Um, the mean, median, and unique mode, so unique mode, one, one mode, and range of a collection of eight inches are all equal to eight. There's a lot of eights going on, let me be very clear. We have eight integers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep. The mean, median, and mode, and range all equal eight. Mm. Okay, we've got to go through these words. Um, mean, mean means average. If I add up all the numbers and divide by eight, I get an answer of eight. So. Well, hang on, I can do that. So if I did the sum of all of them, I'm being a little sloppy here, and divide by 8, I'd get 8. So if I multiply through by 8, that tells me the sum of all the integers in this list is 64. That's probably a better way to think about it rather than mean. All right, 8 numbers add up to 64. Mean, done. Median, median is 8. Median is the very middle number, which is kind of curious because there's an even list, which means, okay, in this sense, when you have an even number in a list, Median is the average of the middle two numbers, so these two numbers right here average to eight. All right? Um, mode, the mode is eight. Mode, that means there are eights in this problem. In fact, there's lots of eights. There has to be at least two eights. Or there have to be at least two eights, and these two numbers have to have an average of eight. They could be seven and nine, but if they're seven and nine, then I've got no eights to the left, because everything I assume is increasing order. That's what I meant by median. I should have said that, I guess. I was thinking it. Uh, nine, that's an increasing order. These can't be seven and nine or six and ten. These have to be an eight and an eight. Okay, got it. I've got two numbers in my list. <sighs> okay, but still more to go. Uh, median, eight. Mean, eight. The sum 64. Mode is eight, okay, I guess the eight's the most frequent number, at least two of them, got that. And range is eight. Range means the difference between the biggest and the smallest. All right, so whatever this number is, I'll call it A, this must be A plus eight, range of eight. Which means the rest of the numbers I don't know at the moment, I'll just call them A, B, C, D, and E, the last one being A plus eight. All right, that's the situation I've got. Now I've lost track of the question after all that. What is the largest integer that can be an element of this collection? What's the largest number we can get? So I guess I'd assume these are in um, increasing order. So that means a plus eight is the largest number I can have here. All right, so that means what's the largest possible value of a? Well, I guess I could try it. I mean, if I got these in increasing order, I know that a, b, and c, and eight are increasing. So a, the biggest it could be is eight. So the question is, could a actually be eight? Does something go wrong if a is eight? I don't know, let's, let's try it. If a was eight, that means I must have eight um, going up to eight, so these must be eight as well. Eight, 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 and an eight, and a d, and an e, and an a plus eight is 16. Could I have that? Huh, oh, 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 I haven't used this yet. The sum is 64. All these numbers had to add up to 64. 16 plus 6 is another 32, um, 48, that's 56. So these guys together have to add up to 8, which seems problematic because actually, yeah, if I think about it, remember this is an increasing sequence here, D and each are each big numbers bigger than 8, yet they sum to 8. That's not possible. A can't be 8. Aha. So actually, there's some depth to this question. So the question then I guess I'm going to ask now is, since I've gone to extremes, as I'm doing strategy number 10, um, what's the next extreme value A could be? It's not 8, maybe it's 7. Could A be 7? Maybe I could play with it this way and see the answer is either yes or no to 15. If, that does, if that's a no answer, then I ask, could A be 6? I have a strategy. Things are falling into place. So I'm going to leave this work for you now. Try it out. Try putting A equals 7 and see if the answer we get is possible. I actually don't know, I don't have the answer in my head. But I know I'll be writing an essay to go with this, this particular video. I'll get the answer too. So you and I can both work on the answer and then we can compare our results by looking at the essay that comes with this video now that's posted. So is the answer seven, which case A plus eight, 15 is the biggest number. Maybe it's six for A, which case 14 is the biggest number, or maybe it's lower. This is kind of cool, I like this question. All right, have fun with it, thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. 
Lots of great stuff there.